and I both know you're not going to shoot me in front of a witness. So put the gun down. Not unless you come with me. Actually, I'm going to go have high kinky sex with what's her name here. Nikki. With Nikki and call it a night. I'm not telling you again. You want to shoot me so bad, then do it. I will shoot you. Do it. I'll shoot you. It's that simple. You I am telling you to shoot me. If you're going to shoot me, I'll do it all then right. shoot me. You're not gonna shoot me, Mars. Because I can tell that gun has never been fired from here. You're weak. That's why your wife left you. That's why your kids hate you. Your whole life has been a complete waste. I just received word that my old immortal friend Osiris has finally shown back up on the grid. Excellent. It's long past time for a reunion, don't you think? I'm sure he'll be very happy to see us. Navon, this may be my last best shot at this. Now, whether he accepts it or not, Osiris is the key to humanity's long-term survival. It's his destiny. Deadly force if necessary, but do it quietly. And take them to the place we're discussing. Now, Poulsen will be waiting there with the equipment. Consider it done. So, how's work going? Well, they want to make me partner. Oh! Sounds like grounds for celebration. <laughs> not really. Why not? Well, we're not a large firm because we represent the good guys. It seems that the closer I get to becoming partner, the dirtier my clients become. You know, I believe in listening to your heart. Well, it's not that simple. Yes, it is. No, because my decisions don't just affect me. I know, but the first person they affect is you. So you should never feel bad about decisions that are best for you. And with all due respect, sir, I will not be accepting the partnership at the firm. Now wait a goddamn minute, what do you mean? I'm my own man. That doesn't seem to work at that firm. And apparently it doesn't work in this family. Now you listen to me. Do you know what I have invested in you? Do you know what today is and what it means? This isn't just about you. This is about my family. Yeah, I know. It's about your family. Ms. Bateman, I'm Detective Sal Haney. Sorry to inform you that your husband's boat has been in an accident. As of yet, no body has been recovered. We are doing everything in our power to try and locate him.
We don't have any money. Nothing. How are we supposed to live on 20,000 motherfucking dollars? Been like writing music with Bob Cole. No. Well, do you know who he is? No. Well, Alexis, I just spent 20 minutes in a whole long walk explaining to you who Bob Cole is. I mean, I was kind of paying attention. Paying attention? Do you even care? No. Next. He told me he loved me. And I thought, no man would ever say that to me. Well, do you love him? Very much so, Janae. But were you brave enough to tell him that? I did. It's kind of funny how the time goes by a new beginning right before my eyes As I walk this path on the journey we call life La 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 my big sister Yvette. She's a student at SCAD Atlanta and an aspiring entrepreneur who loves fashion and entertainment. She's an extremely talented designer and dreams of one day having her own shoe on. Yvette's always the life of the party and is never afraid to say what's on her mind. This is my little sister Ebony. She graduated from Spelman with a degree in theater. She's working now to get her acting career going, but she's also started a nonprofit organization to give back to the youth. Smart, hardworking, and definitely knows how to take care of business. As daughters of boxing great Evander Holyfield, we have huge shoes to fill. Daddy wanted us to be athletes, and though we love sports, we want success in other fields. We're just starting out and have lots to learn, but we won't stop until we win. Building our own dreams from the ground up. We're Holyfields, learning the ropes. What kind of problem is that? A boy problem. Well, okay, this guy that I really like a lot, um, well, he told me basically that, like, we can't date because I'm not going to have sex with him. Okay, then you ain't got no problem. He shouldn't be in the picture then. You that told is a problem. I mean, I, I like him a lot. What they got to do with it, but I'm sure it's because of sex.